Hi again. Now we're going to look at the flows report within Mixpanel. In order to access a flows report, simply toggle to the reports view and select flows. You can also access a flows report from within another report by selecting this specific icon. What is a flows report for? Flows helps you identify the most frequent paths taken by your users both to and from an event. It helps you understand how your users perform certain events in a sequence and when they are most likely to drop off. Let's build a flow report together. So I'm going to go ahead and select a specific event for my step in the flow report. So I'm, I'm choosing the product viewed and I have the option to select both a certain number of steps before and after this specific event. I'm going to look for the first two steps before and the three steps after when a user views a certain product. A few things to be aware of. The UI is exactly the same as our other reports where you have a query pan panel on your left and a visualization on your right side. The conversion criteria is set to uniques by default, but you can change this to totals or sessions. And in terms of reading the visualization itself, you will see that there are about 10,000 users who viewed a product in the last 30 days. And with the help of the bars, you can actually see the propensity of users performing a certain event more either before or after the step that you chose. So in this case, the most frequent likelihood is that users actually start a checkout and then sign up because they're prompted to sign up. Then they view a product, view it again, view it again, and maybe view it again. So maybe they're taking a few additional steps before they actually check out. But then there are also other possibilities where users may search for a product, then filter the product list, view it, and view the product a few more times before they take a decision. There's also some of the users who actually went ahead and view a product, add it, view the cart, and actually go ahead and start checking out. As you can see, you also are able to measure where your users are most frequently likely to drop off. But if you want to add a few more details into this, of course, you can apply filters to exclude any users or use breakdowns to go ahead and break down by a cohort defined by you. But besides that, you can also click on the bar and expand by a property. So let's say I want to look at how do my iOS users differ from Android users. I simply select the operating system and now it's showing me the most frequent paths taken by Android users versus iOS users, Windows users, and other events. Another thing that you can do within the flows report is you can expand your visualization by adding more rows. You can even choose to hide certain events. So if you think that there are some events that are not meaningful and seem to clutter your visualization, then you can simply select those specific events and hide them. You can also visualize the flows report in the form of a funnel-like representation as what we call top paths to be able to see what is the overall conversion and what are the top paths that your users took for this specific example. Finally, like other reports, you're able to save a flow report to a board so simply save the report add it to a board of your choice and you can also take additional actions like exporting this as a PNG or a PDF or even duplicating a board that you've come across and customizing it to your own need.